Do you want to sell something on your website? Maybe a digital product like a course or an ebook? Or maybe a subscription plan? Then this is the right lecture for you. I promised you web design guidelines in this course, but now you even get some guidelines to actually improve your website conversion rates on top of that. So let's go. First, you can offer your visitors a free gift in order to build trust instead of trying to sell anything right away. A very popular choice is to give away an ebook for free, such as this website does. If the user likes your book, he is more likely to buy anything from you after that. Of course, you should have a strong call to action button on your website where you want your users to click. But instead of showing it just once, you should repeat it in more places on your website. The more often, the better, but obviously without spamming and frustrating the user. This website, for example, has the same call to action button here in the middle of this big image and also in the navigation bar. And they probably also have it on the very bottom of the site. Now, assume you have a sign up form on your website. But how good is a sign up form if nobody sees it? That's why so many popular websites and blogs use a pop-up box like the one you see on this website. All this does is to ask for an email address to sign up for a newsletter. And I know these pop-up boxes can be quite annoying for the user, but they are still so popular because they actually convert so well, which means that they do work. There are many solutions that offer you pop-up boxes like this for free. In your call to action button, you need to tell your user the benefit of clicking that button. This is extremely important. This website does a good job doing this. Instead of saying something boring like click here or sign up, they tell the user he should try the service for free. That works much better. So always use a verb which describes the benefit the user will get by clicking a button. If you want your user to sign up for anything, don't ask him for more information than you need. If you don't need phone numbers, address or whatever, don't ask them for that information. The user doesn't want to go through too many fields in a form to achieve something. So forms with fewer fields definitely convert better. Social proof is a great persuasion tactic that can really help you increase conversion rates. This can be done in form of customer testimonials, if you have any, or showing that other companies use your product or service. And this tactic is so incredibly effective because customers are actually more likely to trust others than to trust you. So use this whenever you can. Two very effective techniques that you can use is to create urgency and scarcity. Urgency is when a buyer feels like they need to act quickly and it's used in order to make people act now rather than later. The Groupon website does this by saying, hey, this deal has limited time remaining, so buy it now. So you can use words like now, hurry, instant and immediately in your call to action buttons in order to make users act. This technique, together with that very big and clear call to action button, is extremely effective. Now, scarcity is the feeling that a product or service is in short supply and about to run out. And when there is less of anything, we actually tend to value it more. So this technique is also used to make the user act and buy something now before it runs out. Amazon does this quite well by saying, as in this example, that there is only one iPhone left in stock. So urgency and scarcity. Use them when you can and your website will probably convert better. 